What is the model-based enterprise? We're gonna talk about that next. The model-based enterprise. Um, so let's talk about what exactly that is, what exactly is involved. So first off, the foundational step with the model-based enterprise initiative is to have engineering start to create model-based definitions. Basically what this is, is you take a 3D model and you add product and manufacturing information, PMI, that basically define what needs to be measured or to in terms of dimensions and, and tolerances, or to add information, non-geometric information that describes that design. Thing, things like surface finishes and materials and things like that. So that's one component, creating a model-based definition. The other component of becoming a model-based enterprise is then using that deliverable downstream. It can be in procurement for the uh, RFQ process, you know, basically getting bids and working with suppliers. It can be part of uh, machining and how you generate NC toolpaths. Uh, it can involve designing tools. Uh, it can involve uh, inspections. So basically comparing manufactured components to the original intent. Uh, and it can also involve instructions. Whether those are manufacturing instructions or service instructions, there's all sorts of applications there as, as well. So there's also another layer of granularity here. So the fundamental idea is that you take an MBD and it's used downstream for the rest of product development. But there's a variation in how it can be used. So one is, um, I guess non-semantic PMI. So this is basically information that you embed in your 3D model that humans can look at and interpret. Right? So it's kind of like a drawing except that you know, as you spin the model you can visualize the design more easily. And number two, it can be interrogated. So you can take your own measurements, you can see what surface finishes might be associated with different uh, surfaces on your 3D model. So that's that's the human kind of interaction with the MBD. The other aspect is semantic PMI. So this is where um, the PMI is actually associated with pieces of geometry, and that is machine readable. And kind of when we say machine readable, we really mean software readable. So there are, for example, there are some CAM software tools out there that will interrogate the part, it will see what the surface finishes are, It'll understand what the material is and then develop a machining strategy, a combination of a hogging out milling uh, toolpath as well as a finishing toolpath um, based on that. And selecting the right tools, uh, determining uh, the right speeds and feeds for that toolpath. So in this way, you're actually starting to automate the process, but also you are, um, you're standardizing on company standards um, so that you can use good practices again and again and again. So there's, an, there's not just a opportunity for humans to look at a unambiguous uh, definition of the design with an MBD, but there's also this opportunity for automation with machine readable semantic PMI for automation downstream. So that's the idea of a model-based enterprise. You create the MBD in engineering, it's used downstream. Uh, and that's it. Take care and talk soon.